I'm Dennis, developer advocate at the United Manufacturing Hub. In this five-part mini-series, we discuss the basic components of the unified namespace. In the previous video, linked here above, we said that essentially we're going to publish all data from producers and consumers to the message broker, which creates the unstructured data. In this video, we will further process the unstructured data so that it fits the topic hierarchy and the message schema as dictated in the ISA 95 part two specification that's used for our semantic hierarchy. If you aren't super clear on the two concepts I just said about semantic hierarchy and the ISA 95 part two specification, I would encourage you to watch this video linked above where I explain these two concepts in more detail. So the component that we will discuss in this video is called data contextualization, which has the objective, as I said earlier, to take the unstructured data here on the left and convert it into the structured data here on the right. This essentially means performing two steps. First of all, the incoming topic, for example, MES or management execution system, sensor 7444D with value temperature, this topic will be read from, but the message will be published to a second topic here on the right called UMH, V1, enterprise, site area, and so on, that fits our specification. The second step involves modifying the payload. Here the payload is just one floating point value of 23.5, whereas the messages in the topic here on the right adhere to this schema. So we need to, for in this case, add a timestamp in milliseconds, and we're going to add some metadata with, for example, the location of the PLC where this sensor is uh, producing its data. Those are the basic operations. We can also do more complex data processing by, for instance, applying sophisticated data processing algorithms to obtain a different value for the payload to be used here. Or we can program triggers that will raise alarms if our value exceeds a particular threshold. Common tools that you would use for data contextualization um, or otherwise set stream processing could be tools like Node-RED, which is the open source solution that's packaged with the UMH. Or you can choose alternatives like HiByte or Ignition. That's it for this topic. Again, I would really encourage you, if you want to have more detailed information, to read this blog article, which will be linked below in the show notes of this video. And of course, if you want to have more information about the other components we discussed, I would encourage you to watch the other videos in this series on YouTube. And I will see you in the next video.